An old model steam engine which was made circa 1896, part 4. The broken part of the crankshaft is now held together using Loctite 68. This method alone is not strong enough for prolonged operation. In this episode I show how I pinned the crank webs to the crankshaft halves and the crank pin using long 8BA bolts. Threading the holes 8BA needs a sensitive and delicate touch. The bolts were fitted using Loctite 603 which is less viscous than 638. I'm not going to put this particular episode down to any kind of proper engineering. Here I'm drilling holes through the crank webs and the crank pins. I'm using a small Proxon bench drill for this because it's great. Generally it does not break small twist drills because it's not powerful enough. Bear in mind that if a twist drill breaks off in the work then it's going to be ruined and I will have to start again and make a new crankshaft. So this job was a little bit nerve wracking but not quite as nerve wracking as this part. The tapping size drill for an 8BA thread is 1.8mm, also known as drill number 50. I used the 1 16th of an inch drill bit, which is about 1.6mm. Why did I do this? The answer is simple. This part of the job took place one evening. It was dark outside and my metric drill set is in the large workshop at the top of the garden and I really didn't fancy going up there in the rain. There are benefits, however. A 1 16th of an inch drill bit is ever so slightly small for an 8BA tap to go through. You need a touch like a midwife for this job. You've got to be very firm, yet very gentle. It's one turn in and one turn out to clear all the chips. I frequently withdrew the tap and cleaned off the chips, Shortly I will show how I did it using a toothbrush. I'm also using plenty of lubricant and the lubricant of choice is my Hallett Oils Bearing Oil. Here you can see what the plan is. Once I've drilled the holes I'm going to put bolts in the holes. And here I'm cleaning the tap as I mentioned using a toothbrush. So to repeat myself, it's one turn in and one turn out. It's really important to keep the chips at an absolute minimum. This tap will break very easily, although it is a high-speed steel tap, which is always a good idea. Now that all the holes are threaded using the 8BA tap, I need to get rid of the oil residue. And to do this, I'm putting the part in a bath of cellulose thinners to thoroughly degrease the area. It's really important to get rid of the oil that may be down inside the holes and for this I'm using a toothbrush. Followed by drying everything off, drying is not the right word, after evaporating all of the cellulose thinners in the holes using a very small blowtorch and not much heat, it's time to use some of this stuff. It's Loctite 603. Next I apply quite a lot of this stuff into each of the holes. Then I screw the first bolt in place all the way through. You have to be quick doing this part of the job. If the 603 grabs while the bolt is halfway through then you have a problem. So I'm very quickly putting the bolts all the way through the holes. I carried this procedure out on all four bolts and eventually they were all sticking through the other side which is fine for the next part of the operation, which is to grind off the bolts at both ends, grind off the heads and grind off the parts that stick out from the underside. This was done using my one inch belt sander, which made a really neat job. The sanding process did actually shine up the crank webs. I will have to use my patination mixture to get the colour back to how it was. I'll do this at a later date because there's going to be some more parts that need doing as I repair them. This engine belongs to James Evans and he was supposed to be sending me a flywheel. I'm not charging him anything for doing this job, it's because he's a friend of mine. But he's been a bit slow. Thankfully, a viewer said he has a perfect flywheel for the job and so he's sending me that. It's a case of whichever one arrives first and looks the best. 
I'm not going to show every small detail of this job. In the next episode, you will see that the cylinder has been refitted, but I didn't bother videoing that. It was too simple. Or did I just forget to press the record button? Who knows? That's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.